So as you will see in the next following clips, I have white stuff like right on my nostril here. I had to take my makeup off before filming this video and I use the Clinique um, take off the day like cream. Okay, you don't care. But anyway, I didn't get it off my nose. So there's literally white stuff just chilling on my nose and at one point I realized and I wipe it off. But uh, yeah, I, I'm a mess. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a pretty much a full face of Glossier makeup. I have my little box right here. I put it the other way so you can't see my address. But yeah, so this is all the stuff I got. I went on their website the other day and I picked up a bunch of stuff. I guess we can go through what I got. I got their Boy Brow in the shade Brown. And I got, I got their Glossier Play Night Shine Highlighter in the shade Platinum Rose. I got the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G11. Then I got uh, a Cloud Paint in Dusk. Oh, Dusk. I got their Perfecting Skin Tint in G10. I really don't know if these are my shade, but I also don't think it really matters because from what I've seen and heard, Glossier is very sheer coverage. So I feel like even if it doesn't really fully match me, you won't even really be able to notice, but I guess we'll see. Then I got the Lash Slick Mascara and one of their Vinylic Lip, Vanillic, I don't even know, uh, in the shade Pony. So that's everything I picked up pretty much. The only thing that isn't going to be glossy on my face is my powder, my setting spray. Oh, and I did, hold on. I didn't pick up their like moisturizing primer, but I saw that I could get a sample. So I picked up a sample of it. Cause I was like, if I don't like it. I don't want a whole bottle of it. So I just I was like, oh, I can get a sample, cool. So if you want to see me do pretty much whole face of glossy makeup and see my thoughts and opinions, just keep watching. So for the primer, the priming moisturizer, it says it's great for all skin types. This comforting cream allows you to layer, build up to the perfect amount of moisture depending on climate, season, and how your skin's feeling on any given day. Cool. My family's home, so if you hear lots of noise, it's my family. Oh, duh, I am here. Why do I do this every time? Every time I sit down to do a makeup video, I always forget my mirror. What's up? Weird. So I'm gonna squeeze. <gasps> That's a lot. It is unscented for anyone wondering. For some reason, my face has been kind of breaking out lately. I have one here that I can feel here, here, over here, up here. <sighs> no, just don't pay attention. I probably, you probably, I don't know if you can really see them, but I can and they bother me, so. Cool, okay, so that's on. Feels nice. It's not like, like when you put it on your face, you know when you put a moisturizer on, like I use the Sephora collection moisturizer and when I put that on my face, I feel like refreshed. I don't feel that with this. This feels kind of, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It feels kind of greasy. Do you hear my family? I don't, I don't know if it feels like greasy. It just feels like heavy. I don't know. It's not like refreshing to put on your face. If that makes any sense. And it feels like greasy on my fingers. Not really so much on my face, but on my fingers. I feel like greasy residue. Residue. Now I'm gonna go in with my Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in the shade G10. Now, I have watched reviews and stuff on this and they say very sheer, sheer coverage. Like doesn't, actually doesn't give any coverage. It's just sheer, basically evens the complexion, but doesn't like cover up any pimples or freckles or any of that stuff, so. Which is okay, because in one video I watched, she said that it's kind of similar to the Laurier, Laurier, oh my God, Laura Mercier. Tinted moisturizer, and I like that, so maybe this will be good. So it says, shake then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips, blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness, so. Do I want to use a brush? Do I want to use my fingers? I think I'm going to use my fingers. Or maybe I'll do one side brush, one side fingers. Look at me. Where's my brush? You are my brush. We're going to do 
This is an interesting, like it's like a squeezy little thing. Interesting, in my opinion. We're gonna squeeze, oh, super liquidy. I'm gonna dip my brush into that. I did not put enough on my hand. I didn't wanna put like too much. I literally just did my one cheek and I didn't even like, really, whatever. Okay, mm, a little bit more, more baby steps, you know? This is upward circular, so I'm just moving my brush in circular motions. All right, so this is just like one layer, pretty much, one layer over half of my face. So this half of my face has the tint, the skin perfecting skin tint. This side doesn't, I'll get like close. Let's lower the lighting since I'm so close now. So literally, as I could say, it doesn't really cover anything. It just kind of evens your skin tone. So let's try the other side with fingers. I just poke myself in the eye. It literally like disappears as I'm rubbing it in. Runs it into the hairline, you know what I'm saying? So we got hands, brush. Now, pull my mirror. I have like remnants of like lash glue chilling everywhere in my face. You can still see my pimple is really red. My pimple here is really red. I still have redness around like, at least this nostril. Let me see. Yeah, I have redness like around my nostrils. Um, it does not cover dark circles, but hopefully the concealer will come in and fix that. I have like this weird red, almost like a, I don't even know, like a pop blood vessel maybe. Like it's just always, I always have a red mark here no matter what. It's not raised or anything, it's just red. So that's still powerful, shining through. I don't know how I feel about it. I want to say my Laura Mercier works a little better, you know? Like I, have a, like I have tinted moisturizers that work better, but like this is not claiming to be, you know what I mean? It's not claiming to hide anything. So like, it's all right. Probably not my favorite, probably wouldn't reach for it over other face products I have in ugh, my collection, but it's nice. I feel like almost, you know what, you know what, no, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. I feel like Glossier is like a brand of makeup that like models would use, you know? Like you see those Vogue videos where like the models do their makeup routine and it's like they wake up, do a face mask and put like a dot of concealer under their eyes and it's like, <laughs> look at how good I look. That's, that's what this is reminding me of. If I had nice skin, I would dig this, but my skin isn't the greatest, so. Glossier, the stretch concealer in G11. Are you gonna open for me or no? No? Cool. Oh, that's kinda cute. So I'm, I guess I'll just use my finger for this because why not? Okay, so I'm just gonna, oh, very creamy, okay. I'm just gonna like, go like that. Maybe just like dab it out. <laughs> Concealer? No concealer. I'm looking in the viewfinder, just like I can kind of see more, like more shadowing, more darkness here than over here. In my opinion, what do you guys think? I think this side looks darker, purplier than this side. Whoa, I got a lot more product than that because I think as I'm like, you know, dipping into it, I'm warming it up with my fingers. So I got a lot more product coming with me this time. It's very, very creamy. Okay. All around my nose because I get really red there. Now the only thing is this product feels really creamy. I don't want to say like oily, but like I'm an oily person. Okay, so I don't know if this like creamy, at, like as creamy as this concealer is, it's gonna like work out for me. I put a little bit here. I where did you come from? Okay, yo, focus on the set. This guy came out of nowhere. My pimples literally just like pop up within minutes. But I'm just gonna be done with that, okay? So I'm using my Fenty Beauty powder in butter. That looks weird. Just gonna set. Also, Glossier doesn't have like a bronzer. So I'm gonna have to use a bronzer of 
mine and I'm just gonna use my elf primer infused bronzer because it's my favorite now I'm just gonna bronzer real quick BRB I got a little bit of bronzer on now not too much because whatever yeah cool okay so now the cloud paint in dusk so this is like I've heard the best about this stuff I've never used cream, cream brush blah, blah, blah. I've never used cream blush before so I'm not really sure how this is gonna go or how, how to do it but that's fine we'll figure it out so I chose this color because I think it's really pretty it's like a peachy pink so again, I'm just gonna like put in the back of my hand. Okay, this tube is like empty. Oh, that should be enough, right? I think so. Do we use a brush or can I just use my finger? Or should I use, I'll just use my finger for now. See what happens. Oh, this is a lot. Oh my God, I've never used cream. Oh, hi, what's up? Oh, what you doing? I just came out to Molly. Oh, you came out to Molly me? Trying out Glossier. Oh, you got your two boxes, right? Yeah. Holy crap, all that stuff. Yeah. Samantha, Catherine told me to tell you that you have no more room in your makeup drawers. I know, Catherine says, I have a problem. What does it look like in person? Like you're not wearing any makeup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the blush isn't bad. So far, the blush is my favorite no, part. Look at me. You look very natural. And if that was the look that you're going with, then I then I think it looks great. Probably. I put too much blush on my hand and I don't want to waste it, but I don't want to make my cheeks like no blush is on. I kind of like the cream blush. At first I was like, oh no, what did I just do? But with like blending, I like the cream blush. Blah, 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 blah. I like the, blah, blah, blah. I like the cream blush. It's a good one. So far my favorite thing because the concealer was okay. But yeah, if I had nicer skin, I think I would dig this so much more. I mean, I'm still digging it, but I would dig it more, you know? All right, so I guess I'll move on to brows. I have the boy brow in brown. Boy brow in brown. <laughs> I can't open their packaging. It, I feel like I will look sunburnt, but it's kind of cute, kind of cool, whatever. So this is the little whatever. Now I use the tinted brow gel from Anastasia, so like I'm hoping this will be like similar. I'm just gonna bring this closer to this. This stuff's also like, like when I did the Anastasia, when I end up with like pieces up here, don't ask me how. Back in probably. Right? Not bad. Those are my eyebrows. What do you think? That wasn't the worst. That was pretty nice. Uh, <clears throat> my brows look. They almost look like they would if I did it with my Anastasia like pencil. It's just the pencil would fill in because I have like a like a bald spot. I don't know. I used to have normal eyebrows, but then I plucked this one too far and it never grew back the same. You know, so. This eyebrow's like, oh, this one's nice. But I also don't get my eyebrows done anymore, so they probably are all over the place. But yeah, I kind of liked that. It made my eyebrows look nice. Definitely, you know, natural. So if you if you need to draw on your eyebrows, you probably wouldn't like this because it's not gonna like create eyebrow for you. It's just gonna like comb and tint what you already have, okay? Okay. So then I have, oh, should I highlight? highlight first okay so i'm really excited to try this night why am i like blah, 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 this night shine highlighter in platinum rose whoa what okay so it comes in a bag in a box and then you rip open the bag and you got your little little guy here i guess i'll shake it because why not shake it shake 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 i'm gonna take off the top is it a brush is it a brush oh <gasps> it's got a little like Got a little doe foot guy. So I guess I'm gonna <laughs> tap this and then use my finger to like blend. Okay, we'll do the other side. Tap, 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 tap. Is that about as many taps as the other one? I think. I don't remember. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh. Ooh, she glowing. You dab it on my nose. I mean, it's liquid, but I'm gonna tap it here anyway. We'll hope for the best. Highlight, cute. I like. It's not like too much, but it's there. And I like those highlighters. I noticed, I I mean, I love a good blinding highlight, but I also like the really natural, like, is it sweat or is it a highlight? <laughs> Just girly things. Now onto mascara. So I'm gonna curl them first. Curl, curl. So I got the Lash Slick Mascara. Don't mind my ugly mascara faces. They are what they are. 
So that's one coat. Okay, let's go in for a second coat. Let's see what's up. I got mascara on my under eye and I can't get it off. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take care of that another time. So I like that mascara. I feel like I like how it separates your lashes. It doesn't make them like clumpy, you know? It makes them nice and separate. I feel like it definitely makes them like long. I like it. And it really made my bottom lashes like. So the last thing I got is the lip high shine lacquer in Pony. Oh my God, it's a clicky. What? Oh my God. Okay, so you open it. That spooked me. And you click it. How many legs does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Here we come. Okay, cool. the lip color it's not sticky it's not it's not like gooey i like this spritz my face real quick with i'm using the ColourPop all-star face setting spray i was not expecting that this is an aggressive mist whoa i struggled there for a minute so this is my face with glossier makeup on okay Take it in. Let me see, should I turn on the brightness? So you could see. This is what my face looks like. So let's chat. So the primer moisturizer thing, I feel like you could do without. There's better moisturizers. There's better primers. The skin tint, I think is all right. I think it works just like a BB cream would. Maybe, you know, I would maybe prefer BB cream over this, but it's nice. It feels really light on the skin. So like, this is something I'd probably wear if I know I'm gonna be like outside chasing my baby cousin around all day babysitting like I probably wear something like this just because it's super light it feels light it looks really natural like my mom was saying before she's like it looks like you're not wearing any makeup where like when I do my makeup I look like I put something on concealer it's okay uh, it's real I just have better concealers like I would prefer the LA girl concealer over this I would grab for that before I grab for this it did brighten my under eyes I think you know they were pretty dark of some dark circles from chasing the toddler around but yeah uh it's okay very creamy my first impression it's a concealer it's okay could like give or take you know all right what do we do next the cloud paint i think this is good i like the blush so far this is something i would like recommend you go buy i have sneeze never mind no nope. never mind for brows i like this i like how my brows look I think they look good. I think they look really natural, which I really like. I like natural, but shaped, you know, natural, but contained. I think this is really nice. I thought it was going to be messy. I was prepared for a mess because my Anastasia one, I go like this and it's like up my forehead, but this wasn't messy. This was really, it actually applied really easily. Didn't really have much of excess flying around everywhere. I like the boy brow. I recommend that too. So the cloud paint and that so far, one of my top runners. Then. The highlight i think the highlight is very pretty it's you know very natural well i guess pretty natural you know like a yeah it's pretty natural not blinding just like dewy uh but i think this is a really pretty natural highlight the mascara the um, i think it's a good mascara whoa it jumped out my hands yeah so i think the mascara is really good i like how it separates i feel like it did lengthen my lashes did it make them as dramatic as i like eyelashes no but they're pretty and i think they're more natural looking than when i do my like three different mascaras this looks like more natural and then lastly the high shine lacquer i dig this okay i like this um i like the texture because it's like it's not matte and like lacquer i thought it would be really like sticky and gooey but it's not it feels almost like a lipstick, but it doesn't feel like it's sliding around. It feels really nice. My lips feel like they don't feel like they're suffocating with like a lip product on. Like they feel, they feel nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. You don't have to, but if you like, that would be great. We'd love to have you. 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this full-ish face of glossier if you have any other brands you want me to check out you know try out see what's up see what's good let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next one